One of the many things you'd like to do in Hopscotch is draw lines or shapes or make background coloring like sky or grass. Well, those all start with the ba basic concept of leave a trail or draw with a trail. Let's show you how it works. Tap the plus sign. Now, my personal preference is to use a text and just put a period so it's a very, very tiny sprite so no one really notices that it's there. You'll see why in a minute. But your choice is yours. You can put whatever sprite you want. Okay, it's very tiny. It's hard to see. Let's make a new rule. Play button is tapped. Now this time we're going to go to the drawing section. And we want to leave a trail. Okay, when you drag that one block over, it creates a couple others. So we have some things to think about. What color do we want our trail to be? Well, let's make ours red. How wide do we want it? We'll keep ours fairly skinny. We'll keep it at 10 like they have it there. And let's have it move forward 300. Okay, you can decide what numbers you want, but let's try those. Let's check mark and hit play and see what happens. There's our line, our red line. Let's go back to edit. Maybe we want it wider. Let's try 20. See what that does. So it's twice as wide. Let's go back and look at the colors. We could pick another color. We could have it do a random color. What if we were doing this line several times in a row and we just kind of wanted it to pick whatever color it wanted? We can tell it to do a random color. So when we have it create it now, we don't know what color it's going to be. Let's try it and be surprised. Brown. Okay. If I play it again, I'll tap the replay button. It will change every time. Now, it actually drew a line, but the line is the same color as the screen, so we don't really see it. So it's just random each time. Let's go back to edit. What if you want to use this line to draw a shape? Okay, a couple things to consider. Shapes like squares, triangles, rectangles. You all have to understand that they always add up to 360, 360 degrees. So you're going to have to have your sprite turn and move at certain angles to make your shape work. Well, how do you figure out what that angle will be? Well, it's actually very simple. You know the whole way around is 360. If you want a square that has four sides, take 360 divide by 4, and you get 90. So each time you turn to make another side of the square, you have to turn 90 degrees. If you want to make a triangle with three sides, then 360 divided by 3, that's 120. So each turn will be 120. So just some simple math will help you figure out those angles right away so you don't have to keep guessing until you get it right. Let's try making a square. Let's drag this off. And we are going to leave a trail. And let's move forward 200. Let's pick our color. Let's do a blue square with 10. All right. So right now it's just going to make a line. There's our line. Let's move it down a little bit. So our square will be a little more centered. So we had to make a square, one line of the square, one side. We need to do that four times and have it turn in between. Let's go back to our blocks. So we have one set. We need to make more sets. That first one will make our line. Now we need to have our sprite turn, 
90 degrees, because the 90 times 4 is 360. We need to go back to the drawing. We need to leave a trail again. Let's make it a different color on this side. We'll make it green. And we want to do 200, so our, we are the same length. We'll need to make it turn again. Are you starting to see the pattern? 90 degrees. Leave a trail. Let's make this one purple. 200 for our move forward. We need to turn again. 90 degrees. Leave a trail. Let's make this one green. And 200. So we should have one, two, three, four sides that should make a square. Let's play and see what happens. There's our square. Fairly simple if you understand the math and the angles and how to figure those out. So that's leave a trail. You can use the same idea, the same concept, to make your backgrounds. What if you want to make sky? Well, really, you just have to imagine it as a very wide, very thick line that goes clear across your screen. Let's take a look. So let's delete all these off. It'll take me a minute to do that. So when the play button is tapped, we want to leave a trail. Let's make it sky colored, but we want it very wide. Now, to make it the entire width of the screen, it needs to be more than 800. So let's try that, 800. And we have to move forward the entire width. Well, that should be more than 1,024. So if we put 1,100 or 1,100, that should be fine. Now, let's try it and see what happens. Did it cover the entire screen? Not quite. Our numbers may be correct, but our position of our sprite wasn't. So let's go back and edit. Close our blocks for right now. We're telling our sprite to start there. Let's move our sprite down here and see what happens when we tap the play button. It's closer. Have you noticed that where the sprite is is the middle of your line? So let's move it here and try it again. Now we're much closer, aren't we? We almost have the entire thing. One more try. Move it up just a little more, and play. There it is. We now have a sky background. When really, all we had to do was very, make a very wide trail. Very simple to do. If you want green grass, you'll just take another sprite, make another trail, but not as wide, down at the bottom. Turn it green, and it looks like you'll have grass there. So making a background is actually very simple. It's just leaving a trail of whatever color you want. Again, practice it. Give it a try. See what you can make it do.